Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Hi folks, welcome to the next edition of Kotlin Tutorials. In this video, we will talk about extensions. When you look at the official definition of what is an extension in Kotlin, this is what it says. It provides you with an ability to extend a class with new functionality without having to inherit from the class. Well, what does this actually mean? Well, to understand this, we will go through a scenario. Let's assume that I have a sentence. Uh, it could be I am working on this and I want to rearrange this sentence in the reverse order. That is this on working am I. So this is not a string reversal. It is something a little bit more uh, complicated than that. Implementing this functionality is not a big deal. This code will basically do rearrangement of words in the reverse order. Now the question is where would you like to place this functionality? Some of you may say that I can place it in a file. In that way it becomes basically a static function which can be accessed everywhere. Someone else might say that why not put it in a class? You can do that, it becomes a class function, but uh, until and unless you have a utility function kind of behavior, there is really no reason to put this particular function in a class. The other option is try to analyze this and see what exactly are we doing. Well, it is basically a string manipulation that we are doing. And can I add a functionality to a string class then? But can I extend a string class because string is a built-in class. It is a class that is available as a part of the Java library and the string is a final class or a sealed class. So I won't be able to even extend it. So how to add this function to the string class? Well, the answer is extensions. We will try to understand this through a demo now. So here uh, we have a class called as testing extensions and it is pretty simple. I have this functionality that is a sentence reverser and let me create a sample string here. Uh, I am working on this and let me print sentence reverser and pass the sample string and see what it prints. It basically prints the reverse ordered sentence that is this on working am I that is what it will print now instead of doing this what I can do is I can make this particular functionality become part of the string class without inheritance that is I don't have to create a class that extends a string even if I want to I can't do it because string is a final class so what I can do is I can write string dot sentence reverser and I can remove this. This is not needed because if it is part of the string class, I can basically use this inside the functionality. That is instead of sample string, I would use this everywhere within the functionality. And the way I would invoke this is as if I'm invoking a functionality that is defined inside the string class. Sample string is a string object and this is a extension. So if I run this, it will still work perfectly fine. And this looks much better. So what happens is now wherever string class you have in your whole application, in the whole project, you can basically use this particular functionality as if this was defined in the string class, even though it is not defined in the string class, it is you who have defined it. This becomes a very powerful tool, especially when you are working with the classes which are part of libraries over which you don't have any control. Any third party library you want to extend by adding some more functionality, you can provide your own extra extensions for those APIs or the classes. Now we will proceed further on this. This particular functionality uh, is defined in this particular file. What if I have defined this in a, another class? So let me cut this and paste it here this particular file testing classes is a uh, another file in a, another package now how do i invoke this string dot sentence reverser well let us try to do that 
you can see that it gives a error that is unresolved reference so it also gives a suggestion that we need to import so let me click on the import so you can see that it imports the functionality that is com.demo.classes and under that in the testing class you have basically provided your extension and it would still work perfectly fine and this is how you import a extension function if it is part of a different class in a different package and just to discuss it further what if the extension function that you are providing uh, is already defined in a particular class so what do i mean by that so let me create a class called as university and this university class has got a functionality called as foo and what this does is it prints foo and then what i will do is i will provide a extension that is fun university dot foo and here i will print foo extension so now when i create a university instance here and then call university dot who, what method will get called will it be the extension or will it be the member function that is already defined in the university class well if the function name is same then the functionality that is already defined in the member function always takes the precedence over the extension function so if i run this you will only see foo being printed as you can see it did not print foo extension so this is something that you need to be aware of when working with the extensions however if i did not have this member function and if i was just working with the extension function then no doubt about it it is going to print the foo extension but otherwise the member function is always going to take the precedence so we are just getting started with extensions in the next video we will explore a little bit more permutation and combination of things that you need to be aware of when working with extensions so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye